What's up, good peoples? The propagator of love is here. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah, I call myself Army Propagator. But uh, in this video, I want to talk about veganism and paradise. You know, I'm a big fan of paradise. <laughs> but uh, yeah, about a year or two ago, I, I, I started getting back into spirituality again. And I came across the theory that we create our reality through perceptions, through, through our perceptions, our feelings, thoughts, and desires. So this made me go back over my life and see where my thoughts have been, have been throughout my life, my thoughts and feelings and desires. And uh, it also made me ask, what do I really want? Or uh, what, what is my desire? And it took a few weeks, but I figured out that most, mostly what I want is peace and harmony on this planet for all the beings. And that's something I like to call paradise. And this made me think of two questions. Why don't we have paradise now? And how did the world get like this? Mm -hmm. so, the, so the food industry grows millions of acres of crops to feed the billions of animals that are slaughtered every day so we can slowly kill ourselves. That doesn't make any sense. It would be a whole lot more efficient and simpler and better for everybody in the environment if we just, you know, stop slaughtering animals, grow the food, and then give it straight to the humans. But that'd be too much like right, right? There are many reasons why veganism is the most righteous lifestyle or diet to have, but one reason stands out more than the others to me, and that is um, to take better care of our environment. You know, it, it occurred to me, you know, we figured that out pretty early that in order for us to have that great tasting hamburger on our plate, that a cow had to die. But it never occurred to me that that cow needs to be fed for those few years that it is allowed to live before it gets to our plate. So these two questions bring me to veganism. Now, I know we've all grown accustomed to the lies and deceptions that the authorities have told us for God knows how long. But this meat eating deception, this, this is a doozy y'all. It's humongous in its, in, its, in its size and its effects and influences on humanity, both now and throughout history. So again, you gotta ask yourself, how long have we been deceived? But well, yeah, I found out, me personally, I was hindering uh, paradise. But you know what they say, once you know better, you do better. So I've been a vegetarian, not a full vegan. I've been a vegetarian for about four months now. Uh, I'm going to go full vegan in a, in a few more months. I'm guessing probably about four more months. Uh, I got a sweet tooth, and it's, it's hard to stop eating them cakes and sweets, but... Mm. I know there are other options, but I'm still trying to feel my way out with this vegetarian slash vegan lifestyle. Yeah, man, got to crawl for you can walk. <laughs> and this goes out to all the religious people of the world, too, of any faith. You know, the goal of most religious people is to make it to heaven and be with God. But as, as I've been thinking about this thing, I've realized, do we really think God won't somebody in his kingdom who destroys his creatures and eats them for pleasure or just for taste? Hmm. Do you think he wants somebody who takes and takes and takes from the land and leaves it barren that doesn't respect the land? Hmm. If you're still thinking about it, let me answer for you. No. Yo, when you look at this deception and see the magnitude of it, how it's over the whole world, across all cultures and languages. 
You can see the billions of dollars, probably trillions, spent on you know making the food and profiting from the food. You look at the billions of animals slaughtered every day. You look at the spiritual and energetic uh, aspect of eating meat. Then you look at how long this has been going on. You got to ask yourself, what the fuck is going on on this planet? Humans are some crazy motherfuckers. Yeah, man, that's a lot of questions. And we don't even know if anybody got the answers. <laughs> anyway, peace, love, harmony, and happiness to the world. And remember, what you do to the least of these shall be done to you.